guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and most of you guys know by now that Verizon has officially released an over-the-air upgrade for the Verizon Galaxy S3. This brings us up to build version 7. I could quote the build number, but it's very long, and you guys probably don't want to hear that. Anyways, uh, for now, the only way to get back, other than the way that I'm about to show you, which is the easiest way, would have been to actually go into Odin and flash the stock image to get back to stock. So if you're unlocked, you're rooted, you're running a custom ROM, you would have had to have flashed the stock image in Odin. Then you could have received the over-the-air upgrade, then you could have rooted your phone, then you could have unlocked the bootloader, and that would have been a pain, right? So you could do it that way, or you could do it this way. You can head to the link in the description and grab the rooted, unlocked, stock Deodex build, and it is a flashable zip. So go ahead and put that on your SD card, and then you're just gonna reboot into recovery. This is from any build. You could be on stock, you could be on uh, any ROM, period, and you'll be able to flash this. So you go to Reboot, Recovery. Now, as far as the over-the-air update, what it includes is just some minor bug fixes. Uh, the SIM card issue that was going on where the SIM card wasn't showing up, that is supposed to have been fixed in this over-the-air upgrade, as well as we have new baseband's. So you should be able to get better call reception, better data reception. Um, I have flashed the baseband's separately along with uh, AOKP, and as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I was getting some pretty, pretty good results. But when I went out into the country today, I was still having some shoddy access. So that's shoddy. S H O T T Y. Don't want you guys to think I said a curse word there. But anyhow. It was in and out, so really I don't know how much improvement we've seen here, uh, but the big news is that you are able to maintain root and you're able to maintain your unlocked bootloader and you will have a little boost in reception anyhow. So what you want to do here is go to wipe, factory reset, you're going to swipe to wipe, then you go to cache, swipe to wipe, Davit cache, swipe to wipe. Now I'm pretty sure it was Invisible, the same guy that gave us the first root method for the Verizon Galaxy S3. He's the guy that built this ROM, so all props go to him. And we go to install, and you're looking for the stock root VRALG7 Deodex zip. That's what we're going to install. And it includes all your GApps because it is a stock build. Hello. It's not letting me select it. There we go. Swipe to flash. Now this is just going to take a few minutes, and as soon as this is finished, we'll come back. Okay guys, actually I lied to you, it wasn't Invisible, like it was uh, the developer from Scott's ROM, so Scott, the dude that made the clean ROM, he is the guy that put together this build. This will be his base for the new clean ROM, uh, so be sure to check out Clean ROM. It is actually one of the better... Uh, ROMs for the Verizon Galaxy S3. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to finish letting this install and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so that took just a few minutes, so we'll go back and we will reboot the system. And as soon as it boots up, I'll show you guys that we are on the latest build probably going to have the stock boot animation since we are back on stock. There it is. The ugly Verizon 4G LTE boot animation. Okay, so the first boot probably will take a while, so we're going to go ahead and let it boot up. I'll pause here. Okay, guys, so it booted up after about three and a half minutes on that Verizon boot up screen, and I just skipped all the setup or whatever so that you guys didn't have to be bored with that. But this is definitely 100% stock. As you can see, I have all my bloat back, all my Verizon bloat, all my S bloat, all my TouchWiz bloat, that is. We're going to Apps, and we'll go to Settings, and we'll go to About Phone, or About Device. And you see that we're on 490.4, so we're still on Ice Cream Sandwich. The build number is now IMM76D. And we're on VRALG7. The baseband version is VRLG7. Uh, so we have been updated. And if we go back, we should still have Super User. And we do. There's Super User, so we're still rooted. 
and we should also be unlocked. So we should be able to just go right back into installing custom ROMs. But anyways guys, that is the easiest way to get to the latest Verizon over the year update. Maintaining root, maintaining your unlocked bootloader. Thanks for watching guys. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. We're giving away a Galaxy S3 case tomorrow. Um, actually by the time this, this gets uploaded, you probably will see this on Friday. September the 21st. So that is the day that we're selecting a winner. Be sure to check out my Twitter and I'll post information on that all day. So be looking out for that. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Uh, you don't know how much that helps me. Be sure that you're subscribed to this channel right here. We just gave away a Nexus 7 and we'll have another big giveaway like that soon. So you want to make sure that you're subscribed for that. And uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.